been doing this um, event to raise money for cancer research for four years. This is our fourth year doing it. So far, we've raised over $65,000. That's not counting today. Um, so we're doing a very good job today. The uh, attendance is very good. Sales look like it's way up there. So we're very happy. We got lucky with Lee. You know, the hurricane, it basically missed us. So we, uh, we were very nervous about it. We didn't get much sleep last night. But um, no, it's going very well. The vendors are doing very well. Um, it, it's just, uh, the bands are just phenomenal. And we're just, you know, we're at the time of the day where we're between bands right now, but the trailer trash is coming up and they're a big draw. The people are still pouring in the gate. So we're very happy with good turnout. Looks like it might be a record year. So um, this is all just to raise money. Well, let me rephrase that. Primarily up till now, it's all been raised money to uh, raising money to uh, for cancer research. And the money goes strictly for cancer. We have a fund with Dana Farber that goes strictly into special research. It doesn't go to the um, administration or the, you know, someone's secretary's pay or the CEO's boat or anything like that. It goes to research. So we were lucky in being able to arrange that. Um, this year also we are doing the same thing, but also we're doing some local charities too. We're also putting in, uh, we're donating big time to the um, handicap ramp at the uh, Polish club, for example. We're doing um, uh, food assistance for the senior center in Munson. And that's going strictly for food. We've got a special arrangement with a food supplier to give them X number of dollars free from us. Also, we're doing a, a military care package program uh, that's already in existence and we're donating to that. Uh, so we're very ha help happy that we will be able to help people. What's all we've ever done for these shows is to help people. We've never made a dime out of them on all four years and the volunteers who you see doing all the lottery and the attendance, they're all volunteers. Um, so no one makes any money from it except of, of course the vendors do and the beer people do and the bands do, but that's life, you know. Um, it's very expensive to put one of these shows on. This is getting more and more expensive, but still the turnout has been so good that I still think we might hit a record today. variety of a la carte items that are often are like bite size that have your cheese your sauce your bread you know things that you might think of when you think of Italian food so our fried manicotti is a fan favorite um, it's two pieces of manicotti stuffed with cheese it's a vegetarian option uh, it has some provolone some alfredo and we sprinkle some parmesan on top and that's fried, of course, a fried manicotti. We are efficient. We're certainly friendly. I just told you we had a vegetarian option. And we also have meatball sliders, which are really quick. We can make them in like 30 seconds. And they are a fan favorite. And that's what I'm going to give to you right now, if that's OK. We also have two other trucks. We have a panini truck. And we also have a truck called Breeze that has tacos and bowls. Um, we go through all of New England. We also do catering. And kind of our slogan is where the hungry people flock. Bird's nest where the hungry people flock. Yeah, yeah. All righty, so we're here at Italian Street Food. I'm trying the, the meatball sliders. And just right off the top, oh wow. I'm, I'm even having a hard time. Just the size of the meatball is so, so generous. The portion is so generous. Um, I'm gonna take a bite and then see mmm mmm mm mmm mmm oh wow 
that's that's a perfect Italian meatball. Um, right from the first bite, I, I I felt like I was definitely at Grandma's house, just getting a, a, a classic Italian meatball served to me. It's really fantastic. Everything from the texture to to the cheese, the sauce is is what brings it all together perfectly. It's a really great dish, um, and if you're you're craving some some comfort food, some of that great Italian meatball comfort food, this is definitely the stop to go to. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep getting some of this comfort food. So we're here trying the maple cream fried dough. Mm. That was that was a much larger bite than I was intending, but I love maple cream and I just I really couldn't stop myself. Um, the maple cream, like, it really carries that genuine maple flavor taste so well. It's it's that rich, robust maple flavor that you, that you love, you look for. Um, and I, I haven't paired it with fried dough before, but I can't believe that all fried dough in all of history wasn't paired with maple cream first. It, it's unbelievable how great these two things go together. Um, it, it's just so rich, so sweet, and so perfect the way the fried dough it's got that nice a nice crust and then it mixes with the maple sweetness and you just get a perfect treat out of it it's wonderful TJ's Pop Gourmet Popcorn. Um, we do lemonades, we do uh, popcorn, we have over 65 flavors of popcorn. Um, we also do pretzels and we cater to uh, many different events. So we have a cotton candy lemonade um, where you can get the um, cotton candy on top of the lemonade. We also do um, it all in the cup so it all disappears. It's like a magic trick. We pop it in a kettle um, and we use a mushroom popcorn which is kind of a, a popcorn seed that's bigger and um, it's a better premium seed. Um, the popcorn itself, it lasts a little longer. It's better with caramels. Um, it also coats better and it lasts, a, it, lasts a, it has a better crunch and lasts a lot longer. Um, so today we have nine flavors. Um, we have kettle corn, we have white cheddar, we have nacho cheddar, we have a cheesy dill, garlic parmesan, um, cheesy jalapeno, we have uh, salt and vinegar, and we have our French toast caramel. Our French toast caramel is a big seller. Um, we've already ran out of caramel, so it's kind of, caramel is a big seller, but French toast, we had double the amount, so we're, we're pretty stacked up for today. Oh, it's been going great. Uh, we're waiting for uh, the end of the night, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna 
you know, do much better than any other event that we've been at this year. So we're opening a shop at 1418 Main Street in Palmer, Massachusetts. Um, we take online orders right now at uh, tjspop.com. We are also at many different events. We do car shows, we do vendor fairs, we do uh, fairs, all types of events. So be on the lookout for us. We have a Facebook page, TJ's Pop, where we, um, we show some of our stuff that we do and um, upcoming events. So we're starting off here with the cotton candy lemonade. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta say I was pretty excited when I saw this. Just took a chunk of cotton candy and it just dissolves in the lemonade and that's what creates this really cool coloring and you mix it around a little bit. Now let's try it out. Oh wow. That is, it's so amazing how, how that cotton candy flavor just blends in with the lemonade in, in such a subtle but definitely very present way. Now, let's, let's try it with some cotton candy. Mmm. So that's, that's so awesome. You have a little bit of cotton candy on the top and a little bit stuck on my finger. So if, if you want even more of that cotton candy flavor, you just rip off a piece and there you go. Now this is, this is so awesome and, and innovative too. It's really great. All right, now we're working our way to the kettle corn. Um, if you don't know what kettle corn is, it, it's, it's a sweeter, um, mm, I couldn't even help myself, it's so good. It's a sweeter form of popcorn and it's really, it's really about that that little slight crunch that you get from the sugar mm. and the way it, it blends in and it just melts with the rest of the popcorn the uh, you know sugar is a perfect pairing uh, for popcorn if you ask me because they both start with a nice crunch and then melt away into this beautiful flavor on your tongue and and this this kettle corn's really fantastic it does just what i want it to all right So my family calls me dude. So it was kind of ironic that we started making tacos. I had a barbecue company for 20 years. And when I sold my barbecue company, I was like a little bored for a year and I decided to make tacos. My wife likes tacos. And so we're discussing the name and it says, well, I can't really be a Mexican taco. So I'm not Mexican. I don't want to disrespect anybody in any kind of way. So I said, you know what? We'll call it the taco dude because you always call me dude. and the adds a little old English into it. Everything from here we do from scratch. Um, I own a spice company called Jerky House Rubs. And so each one of the things is one of our spice rubs. So Caribbean shrimp, we have a Caribbean uh, jerk shrimp spice rub, Tex-Mex with the Southwest spice rub, chorizo, which we have a chorizo spice rub. And so basically we decided to incorporate the tacos with everything that we do. So the Beria taco right here is our, is our fan favorite. There's a reason why we started it. Um, and that's incorporating uh, chili oils in the, in the taco shell. And so we grill the taco shell and then we incorporate the meat and the toppings. And so we started using that for all, all, the, all the tacos we have. We do like a grilled quesadilla style taco. And it's, it's just taken off like a rocket ship. I mean, literally we, last year from this year, we're doing 240 events in five months. So they're enjoying them. So it's awesome. Oh, good. We have like, some great music. You got the beer tent over here and you got plenty of food. So it's a lot of fun for people. Oh, so tomorrow we're at the Gardner Parade. Um, we're also at the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, which is a fantastic, I, I can't express more about if people want to see something amazing, go to the American Heritage Museum. It's all about our American history. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be there the next two days and we're doing, uh, believe it or not, Shirley Prison. We feed all the offices on Monday. So we're gonna go up there on Monday and feed all the offices. All right, so we're here at the Taco Dude trying the beef barrier taco. It looks fantastic, bright colors. It looks so juicy and tender and delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm. Mm hmm That's the stuff. Wow. You know, 
I can I can feel it soaking into my mustache. I'm actually pretty happy because that means I got something to eat later on. Um, no, the meat is so tender. It, it's it's just melting, and and you. I was talking with the owner about about the use of their spice rubs, and you can definitely taste the 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 fantastic flavor of their spice rub. It really it, it just floats to the top as soon as you take a bite, and then you have all the all the other layers of the taco to just help finish it off, and you have a perfect delicious taco bite right there. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna try some of the street corn next. All right, we're trying the street corn now. I'm just gonna take a big old bite. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and get as much as I can in there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's got that, that's, ooh. It's just, I'm letting the flavor settle. Because it's got that sweetness from the corn, which I love, especially when it's paired with uh, the, the saltiness and, and just that fantastic spice flavor you get from, from the top. Ah, it, it's, it's a great mix, especially with the tacos. Well, been slammed on this coast of bricks. Does anyone here want to go on out to Greece? They could just have mom down a dark side of the way. I got a bottle of rosé. Let's try Today you can get full pizzas, you can get a 10 inch pie, or you can get uh, slices. I'm doing a Yontic slice, which is going to be like a Greek pizza. I'm doing Aloha, which is your Hawaiian pizza, and cheese and pepperoni. And I'm also doing full pizzas, Valley Special, Aloha, a full Aloha, pepperoni, cheese. We're doing um, a couple different veggie ones today. And I was just mixing it up a little bit so everyone has a choice. Well, all the ingredients are non-GMO and organic, okay? And that brings a lot of people who, you know, choose to have a, a better tasting and a better choice of food you know, at a venue like this. People tend to look for the non-GMO, you know, ingredients, and that, that's what I, I work with. That's all I work with. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's been nice and steady. People have been coming on. A lot of people I haven't seen in a long time are here. They're back to, you know, support the event, and they've been here year after year, and new people, and, you know, a lot of family, friends, and a lot of different people I haven't seen in a long time, too, that are coming out. It's a lot of work and a lot of fun, though. <laughs> i got to keep the fun in there. I can be found online um, on Facebook, Tony's Happy Valley Pizza. And also you can be on um, online now. I have a new website. It's travelingpizzaoven.com. Yeah, okay, but you can also look up tonyvalley.com and whatnot. It'll direct you right toward it. But I have that now. It's a full site. People can actually book events online, and they can do that. And we, you know, treat everybody. I frequent Echo Hill in Munson. Really like that place. The Hardwick Winery, the Brimfield Winery. So I just kind of make my circuit around so people, you know, can get a chance to, if they miss one place, they can get the next place. Hold that, Lucy. Door in the back. Holes in the sides. You can put things in the box. We'll open it up all the doors. Lucy, push the handkerchief inside the box. All the way, Lucy. All the way. Get it in there. Perfect. Clowning for Kids Foundation, and it was uh, founded on uh, uh, meeting the needs of children under the age of 16. And uh, for any reason, for any purpose, uh, just to make the child happy. The only thing that we uh, require is to make sure that the child has received the gift. We're located out of West Warren, Mass. We've been there for about 15 years. We've taken photos with people, we've made balloon animals, we have made cotton candy, we have entertained with magic tricks, we've handed out cards uh, of an optical illusion. So we've just been uh, entertaining since noontime. We mainly do an awful lot of parades in New England and uh, we come out to these uh, uh, fests, which is great. and. Um, make cotton candy for the kids and make them balloons and just uh, uh, let them see some clowns. So it's a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, there's always a need. We would love to have more volunteers uh, join us, help us. Don't have to be a clown. There's a lot of things that they can do to participate. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a good family orientated uh, structure here. Uh, we'd like to see families come and join us if they would like. 
uh, how all be? ages too, by the way. You know, we have a woman here today who's uh, 87. She's my mother. My wife and I, my wife, Jean, is the main organizer. Let, let's get that straight right from the get-go. She does the majority of all the book work and booking and everything. We do a lot of physical work. She does all the prep work for it. This year has been a little difficult with certain departments of the town, everything's changing. And that, I understand that rules change, everything, everyone's got different things. So we have to look at it. Um, what are we going to do? Um, is this the best place for it? Uh, you know, but you know, it's, it's everything that has to be taken into consideration. Um, as far as the people of the town, they back us a thousand percent. Um, you look at everybody around the system here, all these people doing the raffle tickets, and we've had probably 10, 15 people doing it this year. We do it just because we want to help people. I'm a cancer survivor, a two-time cancer survivor. Dana Farber have not saved my life. That's why there's the premium, premium uh, benefit. But there's so many people here that have been to Dana Farber in our community that we know. Um, so the support is amazing. And nobody here probably, very few people, let me rephrase it, very few people here don't know someone who has cancer. And so, you know, the support, they know it's, it's a very personal thing. It's a very tough thing to go through it and survive or have um, relatives or friends who go through it. One of the worst things I just want to bring up, one of the worst things about it, when I was being helped was to see the little kids with the kids. So that really broke me up all the time, excuse me. Um, to see that, when I got my first round of cancer, um, which was the worst one, but it was, I was 65 years old. So even then, uh, even if I didn't survive, I had a good life. These kids don't. They're 10, 12 years old with cancer. So that's why I do it.